Hello learners, I am Master Ryan. Welcome to Mathematics with Great Minds with Meravit Education Center. This series is for Patong 6. We will learn about addition and subtraction of fractions. Let's get started with our lesson. You will be able to recall in finding the LCM of the given denominators. Convert mixed numbers to improper fraction. Lastly, you will be able to solve given fractions using addition and subtraction. Do you still remember how to solve fractions? Let's find out. We will talk about adding and subtracting fractions. Please look at exercise 1 letter A. We will add fractions 1 over 2 and 3 over 10 as represented by the pie charts. Does it have the same denominators? That's right! The two fractions do not have the same denominators. In adding fractions, make sure the denominators are the same by finding their LCM. So, what is the LCM of 2 and 10? Brilliant! The LCM of 2 and 10 is 10. We have to multiply 5 to 1 over 2 so that both denominators will now be equal. So, 1 times 5 equals 5. 2 times 5 equals 10, which gives 1 over 10. Now, that we already have the same denominators, then we can add the fractions together. In adding fractions, add the numerator and copy the denominator. 5 over 10 plus 3 over 10 equals 8 over 10. Excellent! Is 8 over 10 divisible by any number? That's right! 8 and 10 is divisible by 2. Now, let's divide 8 by 2. What is 8 divided by 2? That's correct! 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. So, 1 over 2 plus 3 over 10 equals 4 over 5. Now, let's have another example. Add 1 and 2 over 3 to 2 and 1 over 5. For better understanding, let's look at the illustrations. Each of these boxes are divided into 3, which represents the denominator of 3. The number of shaded bars is called the numerator. As you can see, there are two boxes representing the mixed number 1 and 2 over 3, which means that one whole box that are fully shaded represents the whole number 1. Another box with 2 out of 3 divisions are shaded to represent the fractions 2 over 3. For the mixed number 2 and 1 over 5, there are two whole boxes that are fully shaded to represent the whole number 2, while 1 out of 5 boxes is shaded to represent the fraction 1 over 5. Whenever it's a mixed number, you need to convert it to improper fraction. For us to express mixed number into improper fraction, we need to multiply the denominator to the whole number, then add the numerator. So, that is 1 times 3 plus 2 equals 5, then copy the denominator 3. The improper fraction of 1 and 2 over 3 is 5 over 3. The same thing applies to the mixed number 2 and 1 over 5. 5 times 2 plus 1 equals 11 over 5. We have already improper fractions 5 over 3 and 11 over 5. Do you think we can add them now? That's right! We cannot add them yet since they have different denominators. What should we do next? You're smart! We need to make their denominators equal by finding the LCM of 3 and 5. What is the LCM of 3 and 5? Fantastic! 
the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. So, let's multiply 3 by 5 and multiply 5 by 3 to make the denominator 15. Let's multiply 5 over 3 by 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. 3 times 5 equals 15. Now, we have the fraction 25 over 15. Let's multiply 11 over 5 by 3. 11 times 3 equals 33. 5 times 3 equals 15. Now, we have the fraction 33 over 15. Before we proceed, let's look at the illustrations that represent the fractions 25 over 15 and 33 over 15. There are two boxes with 15 divisions each. Why do we need to divide it into 15 divisions? That's right! There are 15 divisions because the denominator is 15. 25 boxes will be shaded to represent the numerator. 3 boxes with 15 divisions each will be used to represent the fractions 33 over 15. Similarly, 33 boxes will be shaded to represent the numerator. Now, let's continue adding 1 and 2 over 3 with 2 and 1 over 5. We will use their improper fractions 5 over 3 and 11 over 5. Recall that after making the denominators equal using the LCM 15, the new addition sentence will be 25 over 15 plus 33 over 15. What's your answer? Good job! The answer is 58 over 13 or 3 and 13 over 15. Did you get the correct answer? Yes! Let's proceed to subtraction of fractions. Subtraction of fractions applies the same process with addition of fractions. Now, let's subtract 2 over 3 from 11 over 12. Do they have the same denominators? No, they don't have the same denominators. What should we do to make their denominators equal? That's right, we have to find the LCM of 12 and 3. What is the LCM of 12 and 3? Yes, the LCM of 12 and 3 is 12. So, we will multiply 2 over 3 by 4 to make the denominator 12, which is equal to... That's right, 8 over 12. So now, we have the new subtraction sentence 11 over 12 minus 8 over 12. Doing the same as addition, subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. 11 minus 8 equals 3 over 12. Is 3 over 12 the final answer? You're smart! 3 over 12 can still be reduced to its simplest form. What is the common factor of 3 and 12? That's right! 3 and 12 can be divided by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. And 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 11 over 12 minus 2 over 3 equals 1 over 4. Let's have another example for subtraction of fractions. Subtract 1 and 1 over 2 from 2 and 7 over 8. What should we do first? You have a good memory. We need to express mixed numbers into improper fractions. For mixed numbers 2 and 7 over 8, 8 times 2 plus 7 equals 23 over 8. For mixed numbers 1, and 1 over 2, 2 times 1 plus 1 equals 3 over 2. So, the new subtraction sentence will be 23 over 8 minus 3 over 2. Can we subtract them now? No, we cannot. 
since their denominators are not the same. So, how do we make their denominators the same? That's right! We will find the LCM of 8 and 2. What's the LCM of 8 and 2? Yes! The LCM of 8 and 2 is 8. Then, we need to multiply 4 to 3 over 2 to make the denominator into 8. So, 3 times 4 equals 12 over 2 times 4 equals 8. The new subtraction sentence will be 23 over 8 minus 12 over 8. Can we subtract them now? Yes, we can! 23 minus 12 equals 11, then copy the denominator 8. The answer 11 over 8 is an improper fraction, so we need to express it in mixed number. To express improper fraction to mixed number, draw two boxes with 8 divisions each. Then, shade 11 boxes. As seen from the picture, the mixed number of 11 over 8 will be 1 whole and 3 over 8. So, 2 and 7 over 8 minus 1 and 1 over 2 equals 1 and 3 over 8. Are you ready to practice on your own? Ready? Find the sum of 2 and 1 over 4 and 7 over 9. Time to reveal the answer. What should we do first? That's right. We are going to express the mixed numbers 2 and 1 over 4 into an improper fraction. So, 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9 over 4. The new addition sentence will be 9 over 4 plus 7 over 9. What should we do next? Clever! We have to find the LCM of 4 and 9 to make the denominators equal. What's the LCM of 4 and 9? That's fast! The LCM of 4 and 9 is 36. Then, multiply 9 and 9 equals 81 and multiply 7 and 4 equals 28 then copy the denominator 36 the new addition sentence will be 81 over 36 plus 28 over 36 can we add them now yes we can 81 plus 28 equals 109 and then copy the denominator 8. The answer is 109 over 36. Is that the final answer? That's right! We need to express the mixed number into an improper fraction. So, 109 divided by 36 equals 3 with a remainder of 1. You're smart! 2 and 1 over 4 plus 7 over 9 equals 3 and 1 over 36. Good job! Always remember the following when solving both addition and subtraction of fractions. Change mixed numbers into improper fractions. Get the LCM of both denominators to make the denominators equal. Add or subtract the numerators and copy the denominator. Simplify your answers into its simplest form.